the new topic for the session is direct and inverse proportion so what is a direct and inverse proportion so before we start the mathematical part of each of the content and its definition and varied properties let me come with a real life example as an interaction to this topic so for example i'm not a good cook but if i just use two cups of water four cups of water in making two cups of rice say for example i use four cups water plus two cups rice to make a food for three persons so generally if i want to make the food for three members of a family i take four cups of water plus two cups of rice then i cook then i get the food for three persons which i do it in an everyday basis but one fine day suddenly there have been three more guests who have come to the house so with three guests more i was puzzled to know how many cups of water and how many cups of rice i need to use to cook exactly for three original persons already in the family plus three more guests that is to cook the food for six persons with three in the family and three in general for the guests guests who have been invited to the house so in the in case of this real life problem then i have to think of direct and inverse proportion of the contents of mathematics so in case of this i clearly understand that more the number of persons more is the food i need to make which is directly the proportion which is the direct proportion more the number of persons in the house more the food more the quantity of food i need to make so the quantity of the food and the number of persons inside the house is what are directly are what are directly related so in case of this clearly i understand that because for three persons i use four cups water plus two cups rice to cook the food exactly for three persons then with three more persons i have four plus four cups of water because three for the family and three for the guests and i have two plus two cups of rice three for the family and three for the guests the three guests more who have come into the family as invited then exactly i can make the food for six persons three of the family and three of the guests so this is how i understand which gives me the answer eight cups of water plus four cups of rice which gives me food for six persons so have if i have nine persons three more guests have arrived in addition to already the three guests who have arrived then totally for nine persons inside the house i have four plus four plus four cups of water two plus two plus two cups of rice which exactly makes the food for nine persons so mathematically this is how i construct the number of the food which can be available ready for the number of persons which directly depends on the number of persons who have come so here i identify that the quantity of food i prepare the quantity of food i prepare is directly proportional is directly proportional to the number of persons who are estimated to the number of persons in the house so this is how i directly relate between the quantity of food and the number of persons so mathematically the direct proportion is when one quantity is increased the other quantity is increased when one quantity is decreased the other quantity is decreased in case of this example when number of persons are more more is the quantity of food i need to prepare when less is the number of persons less is the quantity of food i prepare for the family and the guests so this is how i directly and inversely relate now let's take an example of a real life problem where we can differentiate between the direct and the inverse proportion 
so let me take an example where I study at home I get good marks the more I study at home the better are the marks I get because I improve on how much I study at home practice practice is what is required for mathematics the key to success in mathematics is practice practice and practice therefore I study at home I get good marks when I play at home I get less marks so I want to take the same example of the student studying at home and the marks related to what he's getting in the exam with direct and inverse proportion let me take this as example one and this as example two where I study at home I get better marks or good marks I play at home I get less marks in case of this the more I study at home the higher are the marks I obtain which are directly related the more I study at home the more are the better marks or the the number of marks which I get is more good or better so the more I study at home the better are the marks I get which are directly related but the more I play, play at home the less are the marks which I get which are inversely related so studying at home is directly related to the marks I obtain in the exam playing at home is inversely related to the marks I obtain in my examination of course there's no restriction that I shouldn't play at home but the more I play at home lesser are the marks is how I relate the inverse proportion the more I study at home the better are the marks I obtain is how I relate with direct proportion so my first example relates to direct direct proportion of the quantities studying and getting marks and my example 2 relates to inverse proportion simply because here more I study at home more are the marks more I play at home less are the marks so this is how they are inversely related when I take the two different situations of studying at home and playing at home therefore the quantities when taken in real life will decide on whether the given quantities are directly or inversely proportional and this identification of direct and inverse proportion strictly depends on the situation of the real life problem the two examples being more better to understand the direct and inverse proportion so now that we have taken the real life examples where I could judge between the quantities being directly proportional and the quantities being inversely proportional with the exams with the example problem as taken for studying at home and getting the marks and playing at home and getting the marks so let's directly enter into understanding the definition of direct proportion and its varied properties so independently I would study the direct proportion out here so let's write the definition so with the definition the quantities x and y are said to be directly proportional if I understand mathematically that when x, when x increases y equally increases at the same time and when x decreases y equally decreases at the same time with either of these cases I understand that the the two quantities are directly proportional for example number of persons at home if this is x and quantity of food made for them is y as I taken in the previous case more the number of persons at home more is the quantity of food I need to make for them so x increases then y has to increase therefore increase of x implies increase of y and 
decrease of x implies decrease of y because less are the number of persons in the home in the house then less is the food quantity of food i need to make for them which has already been taken as an introduction example problem so this can be taken as a perfect example for understanding the direct proportion as a real life example so mathematically the definition says that the quantities x and y are said to be directly proportional if x increases implies y increases and if x decreases implies y decreases and the symbol i use for directly proportional is the notation directly proportional is denoted by this so this is how i denote the directly proportional